as the dummy doctor. Yes, and I, I want to I want to be upfront and say that that's I'm not the original dummy doctor. There was a guy named uh, George McCarthy who used that name, and uh, I I'm, he passed away sometime I think in the in the earlier mid seventies. And Stanley Burns kind of kind of uh, kind of bestowed the moniker on me after that, you know. And so since about 1980, yeah, that's 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 what people have been calling me, and uh, I, I tip my hat to George, you know, and thank you for your Service. <laughs> I try to carry on. <laughs> well, um, you do a great job. I know uh, I'm a member of the Magic Cafe, and you post on there occasionally, yeah. and, and your posts are always read with great interest, and, oh. and everybody there is just so thrilled when you come in to, to share your knowledge with them. Thank you. So um, you, you mentioned Stanley Burns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you got any? I, I've heard a couple of great stories about him. <laughs> everybody seems to have a Stanley story. Oh, yeah. Uh, could you share one with us? Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, my first meeting with him was uh, was at a magic shop in New York. There was a magic shop on Eighth Avenue, which I think was called the Magic Center, and this guy named Russ Delmar was the owner of the shop. I had just I had somehow overlooked this shop, didn't know it was there, and I was uh, I was in in the city one day and I walked past. It. I said, "Wow, the hell is this?" You know. So I, I went in and I introduced myself and. Uh, um, Stanley Burns happened to be there, and we got to talking, you know. And he goes, "What you? You say you make dummies? What? No." <laughs> so I said, "Yeah, yeah. I, said, I want you to fix Bruce for me, you know." We, so you know, we, we talked about it. I went back to his place. I looked at Bruce, and you know, it needed work. Stan, Stan loved to perform. He was a little rough on those puppets, though. <laughs> and uh, one one classic moment I remember was. Uh, he, when he when he took Bruce out, Bruce wore glasses, and the glasses were kind of falling off. And he said, "Ah, wait a minute, I can fix that." And he, he got a nail, put it through the glasses, took his shoe off, and, and started hammering the nail in with with his shoe. It was like you had to see it to believe it, you know. But the the thing of it is, it worked, uh -huh. you know. And that's and he used it, and that was fine. So I took I took the figure from him, uh, not that day, but at, at, at the, another time when he was able to. Give it up for a week or so, you know, and uh, I redid the mechanics in it and uh, repainted it for him. You know, it had leather parts that were like dry rotted away for years, you know, and uh, I filled the nail holes. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> yeah, it was that, that was a classic Stanley moment. But he was he was an interesting guy, you know, and uh, he'd, he'd he'd been around for a while and uh, you know, really interesting guy. <laughs> Fantastic. Um,